Now joined by cornerback Lamar Jackson. Lamar, your rookie season is officially in the books. Your story, we talked about it a little earlier in this year, a little interesting because you were an undrafted free agent. You came on to the Jets this season for your first professional year. What mm -hmm. was your journey like to go from undrafted to then being able to be a starter there towards the end of the year? Um, it's really just truly a blessing, you know. I just, you know, I just commend myself really just for just keeping my nose down, keeping my head down, and just going to work, you know, just showing up every day, you know, putting trust into all my teammates and my coaches to even give me the opportunity to step on that field, you know what I'm saying? Just especially this year with the whole COVID stuff, you know, being undrafted, I mean, wasn't nobody role easy, wasn't nobody role guaranteed. So the fact that I was able to do what I did and accomplish what I did for my first year, I mean, I could only just be thankful and just only thank God and just pray that, you know, it get better from here. Besides being able to make it on an NFL roster, what was one of your biggest accomplishments this season? Uh, really just being there to put myself in a good position to actually get on that field, you know, because especially when you're a rookie, you know, so you, you think like your role is going to be slim and when it comes to just like defensive reps or, or whatever it may be, especially being undrafted. So, you know, a lot of the stuff kind of, you know, is just set up for you to take a different path like you know you're, you're a rookie undrafted I was expecting you know play majority special teams stuff like that but I was able to work you know what I'm saying and work myself up on the depth charts and just you know and just build trust in my coach you know so like when guys went down or when it was the next man up he he trusted me he gave that the young undrafted rookie a chance you know so for that I'll always be thankful for him you know and I just I, I could only just be happy that he even like I say that he trusted me and that he gave me an opportunity to be out there in the first place so when they for, for biggest accomplishment I'll just say that just being able to play, you know, because like, like I say, that it ain't guaranteed, and I definitely didn't take it for granted. So I definitely know the experience that I got this year is just something that's not really, you know, typical to happen for a guy in my situation. Love to hear stories like that, Lamar. I'd love to dive a little bit deeper into this team too as a whole because – the, the common theme of this year, this season, was overcoming adversity. And it seems when we talk to a lot of different players, they've talked about the importance of how everybody stuck together as a team through all of the ups and downs. What yeah. were some of the keys to sticking together? Because it's a challenging, it's a challenging thing to do. Yeah, I mean, the keys are just, you know, just... You know, at the end of the day, you got to we, we go to work every day. You know, we all in the deep end together, you know, coaches and players included. So, you know, when you start, when you go on a long losing streak like we did, you know, it gets tough. You know, it gets dark. You know, you kind of the team can fracture. You know what I'm saying? People will start getting negative. You know, people can be cancers, all that stuff. But, you know, for us, you know, we, we kind of just use the adversity as an opportunity for us to become closer, you know, because, of course, everybody on the outside of this building kind of was like, oh, the Jets are this, the Jets are that. But we knew, like, we're a good team. You know, every time we watched that film, we was kind of – it was too much that was crazy you know we was proud of what we was putting on tape you know so like it was just you know in football it's just it could be three plays one or two two to three plays that lose you a game you know so it wasn't like we just was a horrible team out there just going out there and just getting dominated every week we just it was the little things you know we just had to find a way and keep working to try to figure out a way to win but we kind of just like i said we just used each other to get through all the hard time and all the dark moments just like because at the end we just knew what we was capable of doing and we just knew how hard we worked Mm -hmm. Well, Lamar, there are there are a lot of players on this team, a lot of players on the defensive side of the ball. But was there anyone in particular that you looked up to for your game this season? Uh, I kind of just when it I I wouldn't say just like necessarily my game, but when it comes to just how to go to work, you know what I'm saying, and just the type of mindset to have going into a game and how to act, you know what I'm saying, and just calm yourself down, and take it slow. I mean, I look at like the, the older guys in the DB room, you know, Marcus May, Farley, you know, even Bless, you know, like guys that just that that play football, you know, guys that 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 have been in the situation, guys that can give me little tips. So I really just took all the tips, you know, and just kind of watch how they carry themselves, you know, and just calm and collect it, and just went to work, you know, every play, you know, what I'm saying next play, next play, next. Next play. I never wanted to, you know, dwell on a bad play or nothing like that. I just got to go into the next play, you know, and just keep a positive mindset and just go out there and play confident. And that's kind of the biggest learning experience I got from the older guys is just going out there with confidence and just going out there, you know, with just slow eyes and just being able to just relax and not be too uptight. And finally, one more for you, Lamar. Now that the season is officially over, what are you looking forward to this offseason I'm working on? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm really just excited to just get work period, you know, because this is going to be my first offseason where I can kind of go get some crazy work, you know, from multiple places. You know, I'm going to be able to move around a little bit, you know, just be able to go train with certain guys that I feel like that can take my uh, my game to the next level. So I'm definitely excited just to even just first off, get away, you know what I'm saying, just relax, you know, de de debrief, you know, and just miss it a little bit and then come back and get back to work and just start just crafting my game and just trying to just polish everything, you know, from technique to speed to 
everything, even my knowledge. So just putting myself in the best situation to have a better year two than year one. Congrats on your first rookie season and well, rookie season in general, first season yeah. Lamar and uh, have a great off season. Yeah. Thank you. You too. <laughs>